What? Didn't even get to go. Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be going to a brand new Goodwill that's opening up in Lake Charles, just one town over from where we're at. We're going to go check it out, do a few errands. What do you think about that, Leslie? Sounds good to me. Alright, let's go do that. So you see anything, Leslie? <laughs> Ninety-nine cents. Oh, really? Um, you need a baby. You gotta look it up for this. What? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, let's see here. This is like a um. See what tags is yellow M&M as Chewbacca, but it's, it's just in bad shape. They got a lot here. A lot more than I was expecting. I found this previously. And it's a uh, Build-A-Bear. Oh, cool. Um, they go for 10. What did I say? No. This can go for more than that. Oh. This goes for 10. Sweet. <laughs> it's 99 cents. It's a beanie baby. Yeah. Weighs practically nothing. <laughs> New balance. Let's see. 99. It's a little high. Let's see what we can find here. So Skechers Sports. Oh man. These are I've had good luck with these, but no. Here they're having them for basically five dollars a piece. That box is messed up, but these are the sold console. So 36, 31, 22, 31, 22. So found four of them. That's good. Hmm. Something looks odd about this. Something is not the same here. It's a brand new, brand new hat. Problem is, I want five dollars for it, but there's no, there's no comps on it. So I don't know. Okay. Oh, no. Okay guys, we found some pretty good stuff in there. It's a, it's a lot nicer than the one that's, that used to be on the other side of town. And there's a lot of stuff here. I was actually surprised at how much they had here. Um, we're gonna open everything when we get home and show you exactly what we have. Let's see, did you find anything? Um, I found a couple of toys. Yeah. In toys department. <laughs> Toy department. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. See, the problem I, I have with Goodwill is you almost have to find things that they just overlook real fast. Otherwise, you know, they're wanting these used shoes. It could be nice shoes, but they're still wanting like $15 for it. Or like a long sleeve shirt that might be like a like a polo, or like a Ralph Lauren shirt. 
they still want like 12 13 dollars for it and as it, it really kind of cuts into uh you know to any margins if you want to try it i, I would have normally bought like three or four things that um that would be at another place like just a regular local uh thrift shop for like five dollars they weren't 15 for it so it's and kind I of found frustrating. a um, pair of the sketchers stride right yeah 25 dollars. yeah so it's like this is goodwill this is free like you're getting the things free donated I find myself really just passing up the shoes at Goodwood. I really don't look at them because you do have to just hope they miss this and that it's just going to be three or four dollars. But I just skip it and I just spend my time other where, other places. Yeah, I did find some ink, so that's always a good <laughs> thing to find if you ever find printer ink in the package. Um, those things kind of sell pretty quick, so it's uh, something that you can at least look for when you're when you're going. Thrifting. All right, we're gonna uh, head back home. Is this smiling too much? No, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, what we did today, we went. Uh, it was raining outside, so we decided we wanted to go thrifting, which was really good because they opened up a new Goodwill here in Lake Charles, and check it out. You know, just just to see because that might be one of our new sweet spots. Yeah. So uh, we actually uh, was able to get a few things. So but anyway, let's, let's show you what we have. Uh, let's go ahead and show the first thing that you that you found. Um, just one thing I found uh, right away was a dress, and it's Chelsea and Violet brand. And um, you know, I think brand new these go for about are selling for about 120. Oh. Wow. So this is a maxi dress, floral maxi dress. So I thought you know I could maybe get thirty dollars for it. Yeah. I'll have to see what the comps were. I haven't looked it up. But okay, what's the name of that dress? Chelsea again? and Violet. Chelsea and Violet? Okay. So I have to see what the comps are, but it looks like it's in style, being a maxi dress and floral. And so that might sell quickly, hopefully. Well, one thing that I do very well with is you know, try to find things that, that you enjoy. I, I'm a big golfer. I love golf. And I found that uh, a lot of golf items get donated to thrift stores. And they're all in like really good condition. Uh, give you an example today. Um, I found this tailor-made um, RBZ. It's a fitted hat. It's a small. It's way too small for me. But uh, it's a fitted hat. But you know, it's still in really good condition. I think I, if I take one of those rollers, I can take some of this lint off. But uh, you know, brand new. These hats they go for twenty-five to thirty dollars. And this one I paid three ninety-nine for. Um, usually they'll go for about two dollars at Goodwills and stuff. I paid a little bit more for this one because I'm almost positive I can I can sell this for about eighteen dollars. So if you think you know after your fees and everything, you're still making about ten dollars, which is kind of what our goal is. We we want to make at least ten dollars on every sale. Uh, if we can make more than that and try to get our average up to fifteen dollars, that's good. But sometimes you're going to have these little items that you know they're not going to sell for fifteen dollars. So you got to try to find that. Uh, another one I found was uh, just, it's a new era. Uh, let's see, this one was $3, a dollar cheaper. Uh, it's a new era uh, Green Bay Packers. And it's brand new. I mean, it, it doesn't even look like it was really even I know used. it's not faded on the forehead area or anything. Yeah, that's one thing that you look for. You look for if there's any, any, uh, any marks here on the forehead, if there's any sweat uh, marks on the outside, if there's anything that's, uh, any stains, anything... Uh, like with guys, you know, we, we kind of grab our, and we, uh, our, the bill, we bring it down like this. So you'll get a lot of stains on these, especially on like the white hats or the lighter color hats. Um, let's see what else you got. Well, one thing I always do look in the toy department because it does have interesting things there. So I just saw this and it has FAO Schwartz at the toe of it. I bring it close. Oh. And um, Bears That Care. So I yeah, thought. Yeah, Dale Schwartz. What? <laughs> so I thought, well, maybe this is something. So I looked it up there while we were. I looked up the comps on eBay, and I think these are going for about thirteen dollars. I paid two dollars, and so I think that's it's okay. I'm yeah. kind of okay with that. And I mean, it's brand new with tags, so I'm thinking that that you're gonna. We don't have to list this brand new with tags. Some people will. I, I just don't feel right doing it. But the fact is, it's. It's not used at all. When you when something's not new, 
and you click pre-owned, I think it's pre-owned, um, they another Dropbox pops down and they want you to give a condition of the item. Because if it's new, it's gonna be new. So the condition of the item, you can say, you know, um, mint condition or like new. Um, and we've had really good success with it. Uh, people actually pay just as, just as much for a new item sometimes. I think I saw two toys last week, a couple of, um Super Gon is it Gonzo? Or? Oh, Gonzo, yeah. Or was the no, other one? no, no. Grover. It was Grover. Super That's what it was. Grovers. I do sell toys often, especially items that like you can't just go find at a store. You that. Um, you're looking for a specific item. So that's what eBay is really good for is finding that specific item And if somebody really wants it and it's in great condition, there's nothing wrong with it. They'll pay up for it. So um, and, and you have a good item that you that you feel confident selling to somebody um, my next item I found is on the same golf theme um, This is an Under Armour golf pants and you can see uh, it still actually has the Marshalls tag on it. Um, and the original tag on the, yeah, the, the waist. Yeah, on the waist has the original tag. Um, it's a size 42, which is, which is good because um, the, the big and tall sizes are hard to find. Especially like, uh, you know, if, if someone is in the size and they, they go to a regular store to find it, the chances of them having that size might not be as good as if it was like a, a 32 or a 34 or something like that. Um, also the the original Under Armour tags on it and if you look at the bottom what these things sell for let's see if I can get it to focus here uh, anyway uh, it says $84.99 on it so $85 brand new for these and I think I paid four dollars so yeah so I'm I'm really excited about these uh, also in the golf theme <laughs> uh, another one that sells pretty well for us uh, foot joy foot joy you'll see this symbol right here the FJ and one thing that people don't know is if you look on the bottom next to the foot joy that's the size there's a little L on the bottom or it'll be a little M but uh, a lot of people will I see in some of the comments they'll be like I can't find the, the size of this well that's because it's on the tag itself it's it's on the the label itself on the back you always see this FJ symbol and most of the ones that we find, um, they have... Um, embroidery on the, the sleeves. The embroidery is gonna be of uh, one of the local um, uh, golf courses that are there, a country club. And what they do is they, they order these shirts and they get their, their co uh, country club or the clubhouse or the name of the golf course rather, um, embroidered on the side. Now this one is a Lake Charles Country Club. It's my size and it's a local country club, so I might end up keeping this one uh, if it doesn't sell. But, but don't let that discourage you because I've sold uh, some that were here in Louisiana. I've sold it to New York. I've, I've sold it to California. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't really, because the quality of the product is so good. I mean, you could feel it. It feels, you, you know it's gonna keep you cool. Uh, and it's a pretty green color, so I'm really excited about that one. Um, sometimes we get these small items. Hand me the, uh, the brother, the ink. Okay, so ink is always good. If you can find ink in a box, unopened, um, on the back, what you do is you take your eBay app and you scan the little uh, UPC symbol on the back, and then and we'll show it in another video how to do this. But uh, you go to sold comps and you see what these things are going for. Um, I found this one. It's a brother. Uh, this is the, it has a three pack in it. So it has the blue, the yellow, and the magenta in it. And uh, these things, uh, I'll, I'll show in a little box here, uh, was, is going for $35 on eBay. And these things, I paid $3.99 for it. And there was four of them. I have yes, four have of four. them. So if you think about it, okay, so that's $12 in investment. If I was able, if I'm able to sell them all four of them, let's say thirty dollars, just to be happy, that's hundred and twenty dollars. I just made an eighty dollars profit on four items. That's pretty impressive, huh? You take out your uh, your shipping, which is which is not, I might even lot them together and make the shipping even cheaper. But um, after your about fees, five shipping. You're, you're still making sixty dollars. How long did it take me to take us to do this? What thirty minutes for everything? So that's why I, th I encourage people to do this if you have the room 
uh, always at first you're going to end up buying more than what you you plan but the better you get it the more you do this or do anything you're going to get better at it um, but I think that's it what about those shoes yes these are express shoes and they um, have a chain that go around goes around your ankles and gold on the heel and really basically nowhere at all excellent condition shoes and so I saw them from a distance and I picked them up right away because um, I think these were maybe 350 and mm -hmm. I can possibly get $20 for this yeah Leslie sells a lot of shoes on a uh, Poshmark uh, we sell a lot of stuff on eBay too uh, especially like running shoes and stuff but on Poshmark I feel like you you sell a lot more shoes so a lot of shoes and dresses on Poshmark I yeah. do yeah, I think so. I think so. And then with me, uh, I sell a lot of golf stuff, a lot of men's. I, I've, I still have a lot of golf clubs, nice golf clubs that I found um, at Goodwill. I just haven't shipped them off or even listed them yet um, because they take a special box. You got to, you know, kind of build the box. I don't know. I'm, 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 that's going to be my next project. Well, I want you guys to meet uh, our extra member of our family. We've had her for two years. We don't have any kids, but we, of course, she jumps off. Callie, come see. All right, guys, this is Callie. Uh, we actually found her as a kitten at the donut shop. But anyway, so she's been real sweet. Uh, she's been, you know, really nice, nice for us. It, it kind of gives us somebody to come home to. Uh, but anyway, might have to do some more videos with her in it. Let's see if you can see. <laughs> she's got the prettiest eyes. What do you think about that, Callie? <laughs> All right. All right, guys, if you, if you like our videos, please subscribe below. Um, you can hit the bell. I don't even know if the bell does anything, but you can hit the bell. Uh, please uh, hit, hit a thumbs up. It kind of helps us with, uh, with the way our video is, uh, is seen. So uh, with that being said, I'm Jody. And I'm Leslie. And we're the Do Sets, and we'll see y'all next time.